So finally guys, the official headshots of the candidates of the 72nd Miss Universe edition has been finally uploaded in the Miss Universe app and just like you guys, I am so excited to share you my favorite photos and what I think about them individually. Can you believe guys that it's just that the pageant is finally taking place in just less than a month? 20 day, 26 days to be exact. But for now, the official headshots have been finally uploaded and we can download it and we can download the Miss Universe app and vote for our favorite contestant to get our favorite contestant in the group of finalists during the finals night on November 18. I made a list of 16 candidates who totally captivated me in their tales, so let me enumerate them one by one. At number 16 is Camila Vela from Colombia. She's definitely one of the most talked about candidates in this year's competition because of her background. So, so much is expected in return. However, I feel she did not possess the same intensity or impact the way she registered on her official headshot. I feel her pose. And styling here did not do justice at how beautiful and strong she is as a competitor right now. For me, I, the styling, her styling here is very harsh. And I wish her stylist could have gone on a different route by making her look so soft despite her marital status. No doubt Camila is a very beautiful woman and will bounce back in the next set of photo shoots. I am just leading this as a minor roadblock to her success at the moment. And now we go to my 15th spot and I'm giving it to Camila Escribens from Peru. We have always known this Latina to be, to have a very beautiful face and I know she wants to strike as someone very relatable on her official headshot for this pageant. But for some reason, does her styling here looks uncoordinated with the way she wants to project here and it didn't show on the final output. No doubt she has a lovely smile and beautiful skin tone but her hairstyle here leaves me not impressed so I hope she could do better next time and now we go to my 14th spot and I'm giving it to Maya Abu Hosen from Lebanon yep surprise if you check out her photo she really commands so much power in this photo and just love how beautiful her eye makeup is and her bone structure at the same time now she really screams royalty for me However, this is the problem I have with this photo of her here. It's like a mannequin. There is no life in the way she posts with her eyes. And it's looking so stiff for me as it's too posed. And I wish she had a coach to tell her to breathe more life on this bib photo because I really see so much big potential in her. And now we go to my 13th spot and I'm giving it to Madison Valtin from Canada. Truth be told, I really feel I really feel like looking at Madison's image here as a photo straight out of a fashion magazine in a very L'Oreal ad, which you can definitely see in all beauty magazines available in newsstands and outlets. Now I'm just really stunned by this photo. Now if I may have to nitpick though, I wish her photo here was not photoshopped that much to get more of that natural feel. And now we go to my 12th spot and I'm giving it to Carla Guifu from Puerto Rico. Oh, I just love Carla so much. I have been following her journey during her previous foray in pageantry and I am just glad that she's being given, to, given a chance to fulfill her heart's desire, which is to compete in Miss Universe. However, since winning Miss Universe Puerto Rico, there is one aspect of, of the competition which she has not fully addressed yet, and that is her styling. And it was very evident with her official headshot here. No doubt she is a very beautiful lady. However, here's the problem. She was overly styled here in this photo. The smile is a bit tentative too. The hair is okay, but the wardrobe is but her wardrobe is something that I really find off. So how I wish she could have a simple top with a neutral color for us to really appreciate the beauty of her face instead 
But to be fair with her, it's one problem that has haunted the representatives of Puerto Rico since 2020 and I'm also seeing the same problem with Carla at the moment. I hope she and her team could fine tune her styling game as it could really be a make or break for her. And now we go to my 11th spot and I'm giving it to Tatiana Buharnais from Mauritius. Surprise guys, surprise, yes. Am I the only one who is so stunned by Mauritius's Tatiana Buharnais here in this photo? Her vibe here is very youthful, bright and fun and easily stands out among all of them. And just look at her smile, I just love it as it makes her look more relatable and authentic given how she is so fully confident to showcase her big hair. I am just smitten. She is so gorgeous. And now we go to my top 10 and I'm giving it to Lisbeth Valverde from Costa Rica. Another pleasant surprise guys. She is really a pleasant surprise here in this list. She really has this very beautiful face kuna pansin nyo. Very manika and sexy. Now for me, she possesses a universal beauty that no one is paying attention to right now. And even though she looks perfect aesthetically, the way she posed here on her headshot kind of distracted me with how she touched her hair at the side. Now which I don't know if this is a stolen shot or a pose she really did on purpose. I just wish she had a pose here that would have given her a powerful image here. And now we go to my ninth spot and I'm giving it to Fabienne Nicole Gronivel from Indonesia. I hope you all will agree with me that this is by far the best Indonesia's Fabienne has looked so far in this year's competition. Because the more you look at her image here, you now realize that she is a Miss Universe material. When she was looking more of a Miss World or miss international prototype the moment she got crowned a few months ago and it only goes to show that she is really doing her homework well and analyzing her strength as a contestant which i can say is her versatility as early as now because she can easily adapt to the change never mind guy never mind guys about the controversies that she is currently facing she's never getting distracted with her goal and is determined to make her countrymen proud so what I would say to her right now, keep the styling because it looks good on you, Fabienne. And if I may have to nitpick though, I just wish this photo wasn't overly photoshopped because this kind of beauty does not need too much enhancing already. And now we go to my 8th spot and I'm giving it to Atenea Perez from Spain. Uh, this Spanish queen is beguiling me on this photo. I just love how she registers so strong with those piercing eyes and brown skin in contrast to the white outfit and background that she is having right now. And it's totally captivating. Now she is just so beautiful and haunting with that hand pose and it really feels like there is a wonderful backstory to those soulful eyes every time we look at it. Diba? Just basing on this photo alone, she is already giving me dark horse vibes. And now we go to my seventh spot and I'm giving it to Diane Leire from France. What a beautiful face this French woman has. She really has that universal appeal going for her. That face, this face is really made for ads. The way she poses here with her hand touching her forehead somehow hits different as it somehow gives you a relatability feel despite how glammed up she is on this photo and even though it's a hairstyle I would not have wanted her to wear her beauty still shown but I feel regardless of her makeup or angle here on this photo she would have still looked great just because of that stunning face I have a feeling that how she looks like in photos here is how she will also look like in person once the competition starts na alam mong hindi talaga siya mambubudol ng mga fans and now we go to my top 6 and I'm giving it to Mariana Downing from Dominican Republic. Wow! I am just totally blown away by this woman's image here. Is anyone feeling how this concept of her headshot here is very reminiscent of Victoria's Secret? That's what I am feeling from her. And apart from that, I now realize what makes this photo so powerful or even more powerful is her eyes. Her eyes is her, I feel her eyes is her strongest facial asset and I could easily be drowned by it. Her eyes made her register so strong here. 
Yun nga lang guys, it's quite sad that part of her face was partly covered here. And not the best choice as, as it's turning out more like a photo for a lingerie ad instead. Yes, it's very sexy and captivating but I wish Mariana would have projected more relatability here instead. And now we go to my top 5 and I'm giving it to Antonia Porcil from Thailand. Is there a photo Antonia Porcil does not look good? I doubt because she always looks gorgeous all the time and her headshot here is no exception. That face is really striking and the hand posing makes us all the more appreciate the beauty of her face. However, ito na. As much as I would like to rave about this photo, I certainly cannot. I really feel that her beauty here has been washed out due to overly photoshop and, the, and this photo made her look more Caucasian instead of bringing or enhancing more of her Thai features because let's face it, she has great Asian facial features. So from a creative standpoint, I was expecting more. And now we go to my top 4 spot and I'm giving it to Melissa Flores from Mexico. My gosh, I am so in love with this photo of Melissa Flores. Now she just looks so beautiful. She just looks so beautiful here with this one side pose. And for the longest time since following her in her previous pageant, I've always been concerned how she could address her makeup styling as she has strong facial features. But I am glad her team has been addressing it well by consistently coming out with looks that impress us. In this photo, she's giving me a daddy stare here. So the more, the more I look at her right now, yeah. I think I should better watch out for this Mexican lady in the pageant very, very soon. And now we go to my top three. And number three on my list here is Shanice Palacios from Nicaragua. Boss lady. Yup, this is certainly the aura I am definitely getting from Nicaragua's official headshot for this pageant. Now she definitely screams power and looks like a boss in charge. Napansin with that pose, she definitely looks so regal and the type who would command attention just by looking at her photo, diba? The face and even her hand poses were not too distracting for us to appreciate her face. If she could channel this kind of aura already in stales, then I really can't wait how she will register face to face or in motion. For sure, she will be even more stunning. And now we go to my runner-up of my list for this content and I'm giving it to, no surprise, Diana Silva from Venezuela. Oh, what is a pageant without Venezuela excelling on it? Yup, Venezuela is stunning us again with her powerful image here for her official headshot. Grab it guys, I don't know where to begin in describing how I am just so floored with Diana Silva's photo here. Ang lambot-lambot niya tignan dito na parang kinula sa downy. Pero ang sexy-sexy and alluring at the same time. I'm just blown away. And even the way she looks at the camera evokes so much power and mystery that makes me want to get to know her more. Even more, di ba? And heck, I feel this photo can even pass for a fragrance ad or an image model of a signature couture house in Paris. Diana Silva looks so much great in this photo and is already looking like a heavy contender as early as now. So, sinong ko kontra? And finally, we go to my top spot and I'm giving it to our very own Michelle D. I know guys, I know, call me biased again but give credit where it's due. Our very own Michelle D has done a wonderful job in shooting for her in shooting her official headshot photo at the upcoming Miss Universe. The hairstyle, the white breastplate number with jewel with jewel mirror pearls, pearl earring and necklaces look so amazing all together. It was just something very different, something new to our eyes and I am really stunned. And for some reason, her styling and jewelry showcase here are very alta and scream al classy. The breastplate makes it even more avant-garde. The hairstyle is so edgy that, and that makeup is not too heavy. And everything is just so different but when combined all together works cohesively. 
And for some reason, again, I get why there might be a polarizing reaction for this headshot because it's not the normal type of headshots that we see from our girls being glam up on their official photos for this pageant. Because let's face it, guys, we are so used to seeing our girls being glam up with smoky eyes, vampy hair, and couture gowns. But here we have somebody like Michelle D who is challenging our perceptive standards. However, whenever we see and digest what Michelle actually represents to the table, I feel this is the styling direction for her. Had she probably gone the typical route, she would have definitely gotten lost in the background. Whereas this one, this one, she is standing on her own and her personality is definitely shining on this photo. Now this photo easily stands out and becomes memorable right away in the sense that it is something that the judges are going to remember and I think that's the most important thing. And then when we look at her right up, I am also impressed. She has a very heavy or loaded resume so I think she will not go unnoticed. But you know what guys? What it, but you know what is the best thing about her stunning official headshot here it is the fact that she was the one who conceptualized her whole look along with her friend here as evidenced by by her by the credits of the caption of this photo now she really has a vision for herself and i'm so glad mup is giving her so much creative freedom and control in deciding what works best for her in the pageant the whole look was just executed perfectly so kudos to michelle d we wanted something different and sh and she delivered and we are all impressed right now so there you go guys o anong napansin nyo sa listahan ko ako napansin ko mas maraming magaganda ngayon ng mga merlis na coming from non-powerhouse countries yung mga hindi natin napapansin na may ibubuga rin pala and it's just that they are being hampered by styling issues at the moment. Hopefully, more ladies will be able to address this so they can impress the press and the judges in El Salvador very, very soon.